Hi everybody, it's Patty Rockstar Mom and welcome to my channel. I am so happy to be making this video today and I am so glad that you're here. Thank you. This has been an absolutely crazy, crazy past few weeks. Some good stuff, some really bad stuff. I've bought a few things that I wanted to share with you. I, a couple of them going back, but I thought I would just sit here and have a good old patty chat with you. So that's what we're going to do today, if that's okay. I think I want to start off with telling you a little bit about my one of my dearest and oldest friends, uh, the death of her husband, the sudden death of her husband. It was so unexpected. My friend and I've talked to you about her before, or at least I've mentioned her before. And some of you will remember her for other reasons. But we met when her husband and Jennifer's dad worked together. And they had a party at their house. And we were invited. And that was the first time I met them. We were both pregnant, very pregnant. We both had daughters. Jennifer was born the end of February. Her daughter was born the beginning of May. So we were close. <laughs> but we just built a friendship almost immediately. And it was one of those good friendships. And you sort of knew that it was, it was going to last. Jennifer will be 51 in February, so that means I've known her for over 51 years. We weren't the kind of friends all these 50 plus years that, that just told each other every single thing. We did a lot together. We did things, the four, uh, the four of us. Since then, I've moved out of Memphis a long time ago, but we still maintain that friendship. We just, we've always known that we would be there for each other. So needless to say, this has hit not just my friend, but her family and her extended family, her a huge, a, a huge group of friends that she had over all these years, that they had over all these years. He passed away very suddenly, as I said, riding his bicycle in a park, perfectly normal, took a bike ride, two ladies walking found him, still on his bicycle, turned over but still on his bicycle, and called for help, and it was just too late. Initially, my friend asked me to come, and I said I would, and I was ready to go. While we were talking, I was checking flights. But by the time we ended our conversation, I realized and she realized that there was going to be a lot of people there in her house. And mainly family. So I decided not to go, and I'm going to go to be with her later on. There was a service where they were in their, they split residences between North Carolina and Memphis. They were in North Carolina. So the funeral was there, and there is going to be a celebration of his life in Memphis. So I'll either go to North Carolina before before the celebration of his life, or I will um, go to Memphis to see her, De again, depending on when the service is in Memphis. So, been keeping in touch with her, and we've had some late night, middle of the night conversations, um, and my heart just goes out to her. It just goes out to her. So thank you for being so kind last week when I 
told you that something like that was going on. And also Suzanne Summers had passed away, and I had that little bitty tiny connection with Suzanne. I thought, for those of you who hadn't seen that video about those three-way ponchos, or 20-way ponchos, you would probably get a kick out of it. And so many of you have commented to me about that. So it, that was back in the good old days. That camera was that little Canon camcorder red that I started my channel with. It had to have been not long after that when that camera bit the dust and trust me, I needed to have a service for it because I knew I was faced with having to learn a new camera when I barely knew what to do with that one. But it was like, if you know anything about cameras, it was, a, I think, 720p and of course we're filming now and most of us either 1080 or 4K. So a long way from that. So the video quality not only was not that good probably when I initially filmed that video, but the, I think they those those deteriorate over time and that's for sure what happened. And then, trust me, I knew nothing about lighting. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. And and going back to speak about Suzanne, I know so many of you, too, really did enjoy and like Suzanne and what she stood for. So uh, I know that her family has to be hurting, too. I think I said it in the video last week that I did the voiceover on something that Suzanne said. And, and I researched it to see if it was hers originally or if anybody else had said it. And several people, John Lennon, I think Buddha, uh, actually probably first said something similar to it, but I thought the way Suzanne phrased it was so powerful. And it was, it's not who we are, it's not what we do, it's not what we have. It's all about who we love and who loves us. And I love you. Okay, <laughs> I have my list. So let's, let's talk about a couple of things. I think in a video a while back, maybe a month ago, I mentioned that Angie from Angie Hot and Flashy had put out a new travel set of makeup brushes and I, that I was going to order them. But f for a couple of reasons, number one is I really like to support my sister content creators here on YouTube in any way I can. So I knew that I would buy that set of brushes just based on what I had seen. And lo and behold, without me knowing it, I was sent a set of these travel brushes and I want to show them to you. I've been using them and first of all here's the case. They are travel brushes. Look how thin this is and the case is, oh and, and they have Angie Hot and Flashy. They unzip, still has the plastic tag on it and this is what the brushes look like. You get five and they, let me turn this down so that you can see, this is what makes them so neat, especially if you're traveling. You just turn that case down and they will sit on your table or your vanity, wherever you're applying your makeup. And they have short handles, look. And what that means basically is, you, for those of us who are having some sight issues, let's just say, we can get up really close to our face with these brushes because the handles aren't long. We can get up close to the mirrors. So let me look here. Yeah. And it even has the brush in. Let me, let me do this. It even has the brush that everyone who uses it loves it. I don't know of another brush like this in any set of brushes. If you do, let us know in the comment. It's that tapered brush that is just on an angle and it makes it just perfect for getting under your eyes, over your eyes, in the corner, right here in the corners of your nose, any little tight spots and it has the short handle. 
So you get five, you get two face brushes, and you get that little special brush, and then two eye brushes. But again, they're short. Now, some of you may not ever travel, but you're aging as I am, and it's nice just to have something that makes putting our makeup on a little bit easier. The neat thing about this, too, is that there's plenty of room in the bag to put other brushes. Even your taller brushes will fit in here. You might put some mascara. You might put your eyeliners. You could put eyeshadows. You could put, you know, you could put anything in here that you needed to put. And then, of course, it zips. And if, if, if you're traveling with it, that slides in just about in any little spot anywhere in your suitcase, or it'll lay flat. I, I will put a link to these. I haven't had time to check to see if I have a discount code. If I have a discount code, I will put that below too. And by the way, I will uh, put links to everything I can in the description or the show more section of this video, which is right under this video. You'll probably see the word more. Just click on that. Or I'm going to put them as the permanent first comment under this video. So if you don't know how to get to the show more or the description bar, just look down to where you would normally write a comment under a video and click on the first video and you'll see all of the links there. I'm gonna, from here on out, I'm gonna try to put everything there that I put in the show more, or at least the important things that you might be interested in. I know a lot of you ask questions that I've talked about or that I've said were linked, and you didn't think to look at that first comment. So always look for that first comment. All right, okay, listen. <laughs> I need to settle into my chair here because We've got something we need to talk about. A couple of weeks ago, I did a video on the our over 70 content, content creators here on YouTube. And would you believe, I know nothing, as it turns out. I've always said I know. I don't know a lot about many things, but I know a little bit about a lot of things. Well, I had no idea we had as many over 70 content creators as we do we have a bunch. I have not revised the list yet. I just haven't had time to get in there and do it, but hopefully I'll do it real soon. I asked that if you were a, a, a over 70s creator and your name was not on that list, to, to go to my home channel page and look for my email address there and send me an email asking that I put your, your name on the list if you wanted to be on the list. Well, a lot of you who watch other over 70 creators who were not on that list were telling me about people that you followed who you knew were over 70. And then I would hear from some of them too uh, via my email address, which is what I had asked for. And it, I, so I've had a lot of duplications and a lot of you gave me the name of, the, it would be the same channel, the same person. So I'm gonna have to do a lot of going through, but I know what's happening is that I have, I, I would venture to say probably 20 or 30 or 40 more names to add to that list that I was not even aware of. and. I'm not real sure how much space I have available even in that show more. If I had a website like some creators do where I could refer you over to that website to look at the list, I, I would do that, but I don't. I, had it, I did it one time, but no longer. So I'm going to get as many as I can on that list, but at some point I may not be able to do that anymore. But gosh, I am. it just warms my heart to know that, that there are so many over 70 content creators here on YouTube. You have probably noticed my nails. I broke down girls and guys and got a professional 
set of nails the other day. I went to get a pedicure and caved. And what I got was the dip powder, which I don't think I've ever tried before. And they are a pink and white, I think, and they're ombre. So there's not a clear line where the pink ends and the white starts. And I'm telling you, I feel like I've been reborn. I didn't realize how much I missed them. Am I going to continue? I don't know. I immediately, when I drove away, I was thinking, oh, what have you done, Patty? I have some pet peeves when it comes to any, any long nails, but especially these acrylics and gels and the powders. I hate to see dirt under my nails or anybody else's. I hate it. I, ugh, it makes me sick. So that's something that I have to be always on top of. For me personally, I do not like seeing the new growth, which means I have to have fills much sooner and much more often than a lot of people have. I'm going to have to deal with that. But so far, so good. I may, you never know when I might tell you that I've taken them off and I'm not going to put them back on. But it was a weak moment. And I really do like them. I really do like them. They, they, they sure make my hands look a lot prettier. I think. I think. Are you, are you wearing the acrylics or the gels or the powder dip? I don't know if it's dip powder or powder dip. I don't know. But are you doing anything like that still and you're anywhere around my age or even not? Let us know in the comments. All right. I'm going to tell you about a fail of something I purchased a couple of weeks ago. And I tell you, this is, this is hurting my heart to tell you this. But I'm just going to do it. There was a foundation that I have been wanting to try since it first came out. And it's expensive. And my local Sephora didn't have it in their store yet. So I wanted to wait until I could see all of the colors in person and get help choosing a shade for me. It's the House Labs Foundation, and that's Lady Gaga, in case you don't know. Beautiful bottle, glass bottle. Oh, it's, most people who have used it absolutely love it. I got the shade, oops, let me get the box, because, okay. The sales girl helped me pick a color, and she cleaned off part of my chin and cheek right here, my face, and she had the little attachment, she had the little camera that would scan it and tell us what shade I should be in. And it really sort of gave us, I think, two shades. And, but the first one was 210 Light Medium Neutral. So, we tried a little bit of it right here, and I thought, yeah, that looks good. It was, I thought, it's a tad bit light, but I knew I could work with it with some bronzer. Uh, and I purchased it. I also went ahead and got the concealer that goes with it. And in the concealer, I got the A33 14 Light Peach. I really do like the concealer, but let me show you something. And by the way, this is a pump bottle. But this has a doe foot, and look at this. It's everything I can do to pull this doe foot out of this tube. And when I apply it, it's everything I can do to look. And it's wiggling. That doe foot is wiggling, and it's just a matter of time before that's going to come off. So, even though I like this, both of these are going back. 
the foundation, I believe, was $48. I can't remember what the concealer was, but I think it was maybe in the 30s. But they're going back. I'm, I'm, a, I'm truly afraid this is going to break. I'm, I'm going to get slap happy with it or something or in a hurry, and I'm just going to break that doe foot off of there, and it'll be too late you know, for me to return it. But I am going to, I am going to return both of them. I, I've been using, I, let me tell you what I don't like about it, is that I thought it would be buildable. Because y'all know I have some stuff going on on my face. Some sun spots and especially. And most of the foundations I've been using for a long time now, just they're buildable, they're buildable enough to so that I can cover those places and they don't show at all. This isn't on my skin. It is not at all. It, I, I put two and three layers of foundation on. I have it on today and you're probably saying because I'm looking at my little screen there and you're probably going to say, well, Patty, that looks good, but it was too much trouble. And when I look up close, I can still see my spots. As a matter of fact, I took my Bare Minerals concealer and covered those, especially these right here, to be able to cover this. It's going back, and I hate it. I, I wanted so much to like it. but And it could be just me and my skin. I've always said that just because something works on me or doesn't work for me doesn't mean it won't work for you or that it might work for you. I'm going to list it. I'm going to link it uh, both below and in the as the first comment in case you want to try it. Maybe you don't have all this going on that I have and maybe you like a really pretty thin layer of foundation, light layer of foundation. That's all you need. This would probably be perfect for you. And I can't tell you how many shades of this, but it's probably 20, I would say, maybe more shades of this foundation that you have to choose from. So I hate to send it back, but I'm going to. Or I'm not going to send it back, I'm going to take it back. But I wanted to show it to you and and tell you about it before I did that. Let you see, at least see the bottle and see what I was talking about, about that doe foot. I've told you about Angie's travel brushes, told you about my friend's husband, and we talked about Suzanne. My over 70 list, gosh, my nails, the Lady Gaga foundation and concealer. The last thing, let me tell you something that I did. Oh my gosh, that was so much fun. Oh, I had no idea this was even available to any of us. If it's available to me, I'm sure it's available to you. Y'all know that I shop, not a whole lot, but, uh, you know, several times a year at Chico. And I was in Chico a few weeks ago, and they were getting ready to have a huge sale. As a matter of fact, that's why I went. Jim gave me a gift card to Chico's for my birthday also, which was very unexpected after he told me he'd get me a new watch. But he gave me a, a gift certificate. So I had a text, I think, from Chico's telling me that there was a huge sale, like 25% off everything in the store going on in a few days. And so I thought, well, I'll just take my little gift card and trot my little self right over to Chico's and spend it for that sale. And I waited until the first day of the sale and went over and started shopping and picking some things out. And I'm, I'm going to show you all those, what I got in another video, because I did get some cute things, and I'm sure they're still available. But I was, there were these ladies walking around the store, and it was obvious to me that they were not salespeople. They didn't work for Chico's. And... Someone, while I was milling around looking for a size or something, she spoke to me, and we sort of carried, started a little conversation. And as it turns out, she's what they call a customer model for Chico's. 
And she and a couple of other ladies were doing it that day. And I said, well, that is awesome. I said, how in the world did you come about getting to do that? And she said, oh, you just ask. And I went, oh. And she said, oh, it's so much fun. She said, it's so much fun. And so she left, walked off, and, and in a few minutes, uh, I guess the store manager came over and approached me and asked me if uh, I would be interested in being a customer model. Customer store model, I think is maybe the proper terminology. And I said, well, I don't know, what does it entail? And she said, well, basically, we'll assign you a dressing room and we'll help you or you can do it yourself. You pick out anything you want to wear. Clothes, jewelry, shoes, any accessories, anything. And I said, well, do I have to... And she, and, and she said, you'll be here an hour, maybe two. We'll decide in advance. And, and you just put, find an outfit that you like and wear it the whole time. Or you can change as many times as you want to change. But just mill around the store and talk to customers. And I said, yes, I'll do that. And so we set a date for me to do it while the sale was going on. And I was there for two hours. I had a ball. If you can imagine when you were a little girl playing dress up, that's what it was like. They assigned me a dressing room and I just helped myself to everything that was in that store, putting outfits together. And it was just constant. I mean, I was, I would wear an outfit for maybe 15 or 20 minutes or I would put on a pair of pants and a, I would just change. One thing I did was I, I put on a pair of black pants that, that I wound, wound up buying and I loved them. And I just changed my tops and accessories. And, but I, I tried on a lot, a lot of different outfits and it was like, it, it was like playing dress ups. I had so much fun and talking to customers and talking to the sales staff and just, it was fun. You don't get paid for it, but it was fun. And they asked if I would like to do it again. And I said, you just let me know. And if I have nothing else planned, I will do it. If you have a Chico's in your area and you, you like to do, you shop with them maybe, and you like to do things like that, let them know. That's what the the other person, lady told me is just let them know. I didn't have a chance because evidently she went over and told them about me, but that I might be interested. But it was, it was so much fun, so much fun. But anyway, I will show you all of the things that I purchased. Okay, you know what? That's it. That is it. I'm looking to make sure I haven't forgotten anything. Um, gosh, I, thank you so much. You know, I have been hit and miss this summer in getting videos out to you and and I apologize for that and I just want to thank you for sticking with me because I've had so much going on that has, it's just kept me from filming and I, I, I thank you and I appreciate that you've not given up on me. So many of you have check, have left me messages checking on me, and that makes me feel good too. But um, hopefully now, we do have another trip coming, but hopefully I'll be more regular. It just, as you've heard other content creators here on YouTube talk about, it's, it's a lot of work getting these YouTube videos out. You have to plan them, get everything that you need together to, to do them, and then just to sit down. And if we're, those of us that don't have a, an official studio to film in where we can just leave all of our stuff up all the time, it takes time. It just takes time. And then filming it, and then 
getting probably an hour, two hours worth of film and editing it into a 20 or 30 minute video takes hours and hours and hours and getting it uploaded and then doing everything we have to do to even get it up live on YouTube. It is work. It's a job. <laughs> it is a job. And, we're, you know, when we first started, uh, many of us who have been the oldies, we've been around forever uh, doing YouTube videos. It was so totally different when we first started. We just sat down and talked and didn't edit. And sh what we did was what you saw. And some of it was not good at all. And I'm not just talking about myself. But that's just the way it was. And like with anything else, it has grown. And it has grown to the point that it just requires an awful lot more of us who do it. And we do it because we love to do it. And I just can't imagine quitting it ever. But thank you. Thank you again. You're just, you're the very best. You're the best. I want to remind you to be kind. Be kind to yourself so that you can be kind to others. Please do that. Pray for peace. Know that I love you, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.